Welcome to this quick little Excel demo about macros. Now macros can be very complicated. They can run huge reports and processes and automate them for you. Or they can do very, very simple day-to-day -day tasks. And, and I mainly use them for that purpose. So uh, just before we have a little bit of a look about how to take advantage of macros, what I want to do is show you and explain to you, sorry, where the two places that macros can be stored. One is inside the workbook itself, so when you email that file, the macros go with it, but those macros can only be used on that particular file. The second place is the personal macro workbook. What's good about that is you can use them on any Excel file you have open. Um, now, to, to have a personal macro workbook, it doesn't automatically happen. If you click up on the developer tab and click record macro, you get a little dialog box here. Now, the thing you have to do to create a personal macro workbook is record a macro into the personal macro workbook. So if you select that, and create something, and click, up, click OK, what will happen now is it's going to be recording what I do. So I'm simply going to type my name and then press stop recording. Now what you'll find is when you click on this button here called Visual Basic and take it to a pretty scary place, this is where all the code is stored and you'll find something called Personal XLS has been created. Now once you've got this created you can start using that particular workbook to store all your macros. Now just to give you an example of how easy it can be, the macro that I use all the time looks something like this. Excuse me. Alright, so I've just used the row function to calculate a number. What it's telling us is the row number that we're in. So this is a formula. If I want to convert that formula to values, I would select the cells, control C on my keyboard to copy, paste special values. So they're now converted to values. So what I've created and, and used regularly is a keyboard shortcut to do that for me. So let's go through that now. I'm just going to re-enter that as a formula with the cell selected click on the developer tab click record macro copy and paste values over the top so that's a pretty long macro name there I'm going to apply a keyboard shortcut to that. I'm going to put Control Shift O and click OK. All right, I'll choose something else. It didn't like that. I'm going to try a Q. The first thing I have to do, and this is very important, is click this box here called Use Relative References. What that does is means that regardless of where I have selected my cells it will do the macro for us rather than in cell C6 to C21 control C paste values and then stop recording and that's as simple as it needs to be if I now go somewhere else I'll use a different function drag that across I've got the cell selected I can use a macro control shift Q and it's done for me as you can see paste special values over the top of an existing formula I could also have done that from the macro toolbar so if I clicked on macros 
there'll, there'll be a whole lot of stuff here. I'll just scroll, scroll down to the one we created. Paste special, I think, what do I call it? Copy and paste values over the top. There it is. I could click run from this menu. Keyboard shortcuts definitely the way to go. I've got about 20 or 30 different ones like that which I use on a day-to-day -day basis to make my work easier. So that's the personal macro workbook. When you create a new spreadsheet, that macro is available to you. Like so, Control Shift Q, and it's good. So, any workbook you have open is allowed to use macros from that personal macro workbook. You should take advantage of it, get a few simple ones that you use every day, and uh, you'll wonder why you didn't do it sooner. Thanks for st stopping by. If you need any advice or help, please let me know.